Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Friday, September 18th, 2020. Can you believe we're halfway into September? Well, we may have lost interest in this pandemic, but it has not lost interest in us. According to one of the most reliable data sources in the United States, the America count of coronavirus cases today is, has topped 6.9 million active cases. And sadly, the number of deaths just keep climbing. We're over 203,000 people who have lost their lives to this pandemic. Now, you may wonder how long can this possibly last? Well, Dr. Fossey, remember him? We don't see him like we used to. Uh, gave an interview to the Business Insider Group. And he said that we possibly have another 18 months to go before the worst of this global pandemic is behind us. He said, if you're gonna be planning a wedding, plan it for 2022 and you'll probably be okay. Now that's even assuming widespread vaccine vaccination rather for COVID-19 and widespread distribution and continued social distancing and asking behaviors. 2022, that doesn't sound too good, does it? Now, we have to remember that COVID-19, the spread is by human behavior. Short of a vaccine, its spread will only be stopped by changing human behavior. We have so many people and our politicians who are willing to ignore and throw doubt at public health recommendations for masking and social distancing. These are measures that would slow this pandemic and save lives. Now we know everybody wants to have life return to normal, but the reality is life will probably never feel exactly the same as it did before this pandemic. And we have to get used to that. Now this week, the US uh, district judge, who's a federal judge he, right here in Pittsburgh, who was nominated by President Trump, found Governor Tom Wolf's stay-at-home and business closure orders unconstitutional. So what does this mean? According to the legal people, it means that uh, current restrictions, which include those that uh, restrict and limit the size of indoor and outdoor gatherings, cannot be enforced. So folks, you're really gonna to have to do this ourselves. So to that end, I am resharing and reposting a resource that I shared in July from the Texas Medical Association. Cause folks are gonna to have to remember that some activities, should you decide you want to return to normal are more riskier in terms of COVID-19 transmission than others. If you can just remember the PST mnemonic people, space, and time. Remember that events that you might go to that have fewer than 25 people or less are safest. Events that are outdoors are safer than indoors. And you got to remember to space yourself more than six feet apart. And in terms of your time, the shorter you stay, the better. Other tips are if you're sick, stay home and remind the people or ask people that you're gonna be going with, is anybody sick? And you're gonna to have to know those symptoms of COVID-19 and you're gonna to have to have the courage to ask people because your life and the life of the people around you depends on this. And I have another suggestion, eat or drink before you go home if possible because eating and drinking at gatherings requires that you remove your mask. 
So unless you're just going out with people or in your pod or in your bubble, don't share anything. Don't share cups, utensils, anything like that. Now, the last thing I'm going to say today is about this COVID vaccine. There is so much talk on the news about COVID-19 vaccine. And every time a public health expert or a medical doctor says that they don't believe we're going to have the vaccine before November, our dear president says, yes, we are. So don't worry about this. Just do one thing. Get your flu vaccine. That's available. And you don't want a chance that you could get COVID-19 and the flu at the same time and doubly challenge your immune system. Okay, so that's it for me today. That's my message. Again, as always, my views are my own. We have to stay the course. We have to be able to hang in there with all this confusion, chaos, controversy, and just tune it out sometime. Just make your decision about what you can and cannot do. And getting a flu vaccine is one thing that you can do. You have control over that. Wearing your mask, you have control over that. You have control over what activities you'll participate in and you'll have that control over uh, the things that you decide that you're going to do to change your transmission risk for COVID-19. This is Dr. Rhonda Johnson. My views are my own. Stay safe, stay well, stay connected, stay informed, and have a blessed day.